Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. So I've ended the KMT series. I think it was going pretty bad. We had like four restarts at, at some point. So maybe one day in the future we will go back and try to do it successfully. But this time we are going to go and play as Germany's Asia. Because they as well have a brand new focus tree. And I've never seen anybody play as Germany's Asia at all. Um, nobody really even talks about it in any capacity. But I did notice that we do actually do get a, a decent amount of uh, things we will be able to do. So if we can declare war on the United Clique, we'll be able to declare war on the legislation cities. A lot of things uh, we will be able to do soon. But first things first, State of the Admiralty. Unsurprisingly, a lot of the focuses uh, for Germany's Asia relies on the Navy. Because we are more or less just 15 tiny areas. All Like, this is our country right now. I, except for the legislation cities, those are not actually ours, but it's mostly just a million islands. So, most of them were, were, were safe to ignore, I think. How many men do we start off with? 20 divisions? So we're going to get most of my men. But I don't really care about the Pacific Islands too, too much, I think. Um, My first priority here, because I, cause we, we, we all know what's going to happen. Uh, Indochina is probably going to rise up. So you all guys can all just go here. We will assign you with a commander. Put you underneath a field marshal. Uh, who, what, where is everybody else? You guys in Singapore? You know, you go there as well. Everybody's just going to go to Vietnam. Got research slots. Of course, we're going to choose our basics. Uh, most of them have actually already been researched for us, which is nice. We're going to go for a research speed. Get that ASAP. Our factories right now are 4, 4, and 16. So I'm going to go for a handful of military factories. Where's our actual capital? Singapore. So we're going to build some factories in, you know, Malaysia. Seems like an okay place to begin. I'm assuming we're probably going to need a lot of rifles. So let's put two into there. Three dockyards. Put one in the convoy. And we're going to put the other two into... Probably just like some range, just something that's really, really cheap for us to build. Build Creek Submarine Hall, improve. Let's go for improve submarine to 570 here. We also have planes and reserves, but we can worry about that uh, later. Army Navy experience, legislation council. The current members that have voting rights led to the council are Germany, Japan, Austria, the United States, and Flanders Wallonia. Why does Flanders have a vote at, at all? I'm not too sure, but. Request manpower, request guns. Because as Germany's Asia, we do start off with a penalty right here for a negative 85% recruitable population. Uh, which is horrible. That is extremely bad. Um, so we're going to need steel. We're going to need aluminum. We'll trade with the United States. So again, our first priority is dealing with Vietnam. I I'm sure we're probably going to get some events that's going to say, you know, there's going to be some tensions rising up. Wouldn't be surprised. Let's put our planes into North Indochina. Something like this for now. So China and the AOG. The Far Lands Chinese possessions also lie under our jurisdiction. And as per the terms of the American mandated Shanghai Conference of 1928, Germany's rights in China are equal to those of any other foreign power. The city of Qingtao has long served as a nexus for operations there. And once a modern city, a thriving port in the center of extensive commercial web woven throughout the east. Not everything passing through Cao Chao Bay is fully legitimate, however. The AOG, or Supervisory Board of the East Asian Ger General Administration, manages numerous ships, factories, and even informal concessions, which violate the spirit, if not the letter, the 1928 agreement. The Nanjing warlord Sung uh, Shanfeng is in a bid to ensure his autonomy from China's central government, uh, accepted a series of explo uh, Exploitative arms deal in return to extensive economic concessions within the League of Eight Provinces. Although unrecognized by Beijing as well as by the rest of the international community, the AOG spreads its influence throughout the League and even deeper in the country's interior. Ultimately, Berlin would like us to use China as a buffer of sorts against Japan. Every soldier sent, uh, spent there is one that cannot be deployed against us in Malaysia and Indochina until the end China's government and the LEP must be supported. The Japanese encroachment in China must be considered only one step away from Singapore. They can't let the Japanese get too strong. Understandable. We have three civilian factories. Um, let's put some dockyards into uh, Borneo. 
seems like an okay place to begin. And you are, I think, just like a 35 day focus, so you should be pretty, pretty fast. 28 days, actually. Um, and most of you do seem like you're 35 days, which is fantastic. Kerensky's been shot. Nobody's surprised by that. We're going to see which one of these are going to be important, because I know we're going to have Black Monday soon. Um, well, we'll probably focus on getting those ones done. Do I want to focus on getting Black Monday over with, or just immediately trying to clear war into China? I'm not too sure. I guess we'll see how bad the penalties are. Observer rights on the Legislation Council. Legislation cities, officially known as the International Mandate of the Chinese Concessions, were formed in 1928 after the Jade Wind Incident, when European passenger train attacked by Kuomintang baggots, uh, while mostly designed to halt the Zili Fenting conflict of stabilizing the Far East. The Americans also intended it to serve as a tool of their open door policy, allowing access to Chinese markets, as well as Western nations and Japan. As an active arm of German policy in Asia, many of our diplomats serve in de as delegates in the Legislation Council of Shanghai, uh, though Berlin is actually one of the formula policy in the council itself. Berlin rarely concerns itself below this level, though, and we are mostly responsible for managing most of the German day-to-day -day and covert activities in the Legislation cities. Most of our dealings in China actually involve going around the international mandate, however, uh, and we have many semi-legal extradition uh, concessions from our ally son, Jun Feng, League of Eight Provinces, uh, should chaos erupt in China, Nanjing is probably our only true friend. There are a voice in Shanghai. Right now, the person in charge of Shanghai is Nelson T. Johnson. They're market liberal. That seems fine. I don't think it really... I mean, it depends what they do. Maybe even a campaign as the legislation cities might be interesting. I'm not too sure how well that actually go. The AOG influence over China grows. Amidst a season of mixed news, it appears that our partners in the AOG have managed to come across the stroke of good fortune. The completion and purchase of the Zhenghao Railway, a large-scale rail project inside the League of Eight Provinces, allowed the AOG to spread its influence deeper into the Chinese territory. While some responses to the AOG actions have been less than pleasant, we can safely assume as a sign of good things to come. Knowing that we just played as the KMT, probably is not going to last very long, and we might see some sabotage. That's entirely, entirely possible, and probably 100% guaranteed. Guys are mostly okay. We have two oil in our country, 48 base. Really bad, considering that we're mostly a, a naval base, like, nation. How many boats do I have? 81. You know what? That's not too bad. Most of them are in Singapore. I did see some of them are up here in northern China. And we probably have somewhere over here. No, actually, most of our islands seem like they're just kind of here. Just hanging out. And that's fine. I think you're all 20 men. You're actually a pretty high level as well, which is nice. Admiralty is going to be finished. Fantastic. Black Monday's not happened, so we don't need to worry about this quite yet. Grand Fleet. I've been thinking about going straight to trying to get rid of this penalty. We can either go for the German force, which makes us even have even less recruitable population than normal. But our troops are just better. Training time goes up, but division attack was 20%. Such forces minimum capacity. I mean, at the 20% attack, it's hard to pass up. Um, request arms from Berlin. Request modern artillery. Or use the locals, which is just a flat... Because of more population, but our troops are just worse. Reach the language barrier. So it's still like a negative 5% attack. So this gets rid of basically our manpower issues. But they'll be worse. So we're probably going to go for a German force. I like that 20% attack. That seems really good. Um, as you can see, the naval things are very large. And this is all naval stuff as well. Um, or we can start trying to develop and make our way into China. One building, sl one civilian slot, it's not bad. You know, dockyard. Most of these we can't do until the civil war in China actually begins. And here we can maybe intervene against the, the less Kuomintang. So, 14-14, these guys very fast. We'll get these two done very quickly. Probably before the war actually begins in China. I don't remember how long that took. It was like March, I believe. So we, we should have it done 
uh, and intervene ASAP. And I'm sure at some point we're going to get some pop-ups saying, you know, the Indo-Chinese Union. You know, they're planning something here. Did they actually get listed in here? No, not, not quite, but that's fine. War in Afghanistan has begun. I legitimately do not care. Okay, so black money's hit us. Situation in Germany is dire after devastating financial crisis. The German economy is in tatters. So, consumer factories, stability is negative 30. That's pretty bad. Resource to market minus 30%. Is that even a problem? Or does that mean we have literally nothing now? No, it means we're actually exporting less. That's fine. We'll be back by civilian factories then. Black one is hit the OG. Not a huge surprise, but you know, that's not too bad. I mean, we do still want to get rid of this ASAP. We probably do not want to collaborate with the local elites. Fiscal austerity. Spirit goes up, construction speed goes up. I'm assuming if you just go fiscal austerity and like German officers, then the you know, Chinese revolt is guaranteed to happen. I'm assuming if you went with collaborate with local elites, they're less likely to try to fight you. Like a power, land forts, basically we're just pacifying a lot of people. Factories. When do you remove Black Monday? You never remove it? Unless I missed it up here. Oh no, yeah, you're replacing it with this, and that probably gets it down to zero. Okay. Electro gridlock in France, that does not matter. I mean, it matters at some point, but not now. Okay, so you're gonna be done in two more days. The stability goes up by a decent amount. End of the black week. Things are even worse. Let's go for fiscal austerity. Stability going up, construction speed. Yeah, that seems fine. Colonial turmoil. Yeah, things are kind of bad for now. Um, yeah, Black Monday, Colonial turmoil. Falling prices. Um, protect Malaysia, protect Indochina. Or do nothing at all. Um, if I protect Indochina, I mean, these people, these people do the exact same thing. Protect Malaysia, because that's actually where our capital is right now. Sorry, Indochina. If you want to rise up against us, you're free to do so, but I don't... Uh, don't feel like you're in a great position to do that. We're well, mostly infantry equipment. We have a lot of artillery, a decent amount of light tanks. So I'm curious. Do we have any tank divisions in our armies? No. Not that I can see, so I don't know if we actually need the tanks at all. Unless you are... Okay, no, we do have some of these guys. You're actually very... 22 combat with. You're actually very large uh, troops. Okay, you're now at a major war. Support our Chinese friends. I think we have to. Nanjing clique. Marsha Wufu has backed Nanjing. Germination. Yeah, we must control. Drew businesses that flee the league. With the collapse of the League of Eight Provinces into some awards, German confidence is in the status quo, and China in general has collapsed also. Oh, you know what? That's fine. Don't worry about it right now. I mean, most, most of the country is falling apart. But if you just don't think about it, everything is fine. And Angie Cleek, okay, you're actually looking really, really bad. Um... Instability in Indochina. I knew that was going to happen. Nobody nobody should be surprised that that's the outcome here. But as soon as we're done with our austerity measures, we'll probably go straight to sending aid to the Chinese to the Nanjing warlords. European privileges, reinforce their privileges. Yeah, sure, why not? You know, might as well. Stability is at negative 17%, which, under most circumstances, would seem pretty bad. Factory output's pretty low. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. Good for them, I guess. 
What are we right now? Are we... We are patrol autocratic. I think there's a chance that Nanjing Cleek might actually capitulate pretty quickly. Which is a little bit worrying. Anti-concessionist attack German assets. Where's Guangzhou? Um... I do not remember. It's you. Okay. We'll launch a retaliatory strike. Will that get us a war with them? Oh, that's entirely possible, but we will, uh... We will see. Just shoot at them. It's fine. Nothing bad could ever happen. Let's be done tomorrow. Mission accomplished. Gun to low diplomacy. Okay, so we've done some fiscal austerity. Our stability is now only at negative 1% now. But I want to intervene in China. Like, how many men do you have? National Hesitation in Tonkin. Vietnamese National Party. That's fine. We knew this was going to come. So, for 19 to 46, 8 to 12, 6 to 14, 4 to 6. Also, this guy moves. He used to be, like, over here, didn't he? In the Before the China update? I believe so. The colonial government. I don't think we can change this at all in Kaiserreich, but that's okay. Intervene strongly. Punish you none. They've not cut their economic relations to us quite yet. Tighten grips on the concessions. Nation clearly exists at peace at more than 50% support for the AOG. I'm going to send some aid to them. 14 days. Not too, too bad. I don't know if you guys actually do anything, to be completely honest. Something like this. That should be good for now. Our manpower is low. It's actually going to get worse once you just only recruit Germans into the army. Well, you can't ignore that 20% attack uh, bonus. Resource to market minus 40%. Plantation strikes. Uh, the price of rubber keeps falling. Many plantation owners have decided to fire workers and keep the rest working full time. Negotiating plantation workers. Factory output goes down more. Socialist agitators suppress those strikes. How dare they? France or Britain or whoever's doing this. Probably like the, the you know, Chinese. Um, revolt, those guys. It's probably them behind it, but still. Absolutely not. We're going to send aid to the Nanjing warlords. I don't know what this actually does. We'll find out soon. We can cooperate with the Qing. What do you actually do? Um, you know, we'll ignore you for now. Colonial mark 70 days, 35 days, or share the burden. Ability minus 15%. What's it at now? It doesn't seem like this does anything, actually. For 365 days. What if we do... Okay, we, we cannot do anything with our army yet. We can build a thing with Dockyard. Okay, you know what? We'll just do the Colonial Mark then. Seems like an okay place to begin. Give them guns. I will try to give them some rifles. I have, I have a decent amount in reserve. So hopefully they don't say no. 
Nanjing, like you're kind. I mean, you're, you're winning against the on King, on Chin clique, but against the, everyone else, you're kind of doing not hot. I don't know if it says yes. I don't like. I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna get like some sort of pop up saying if they said yes or not, but we will see. And it can't expect to see TUC. That is fine. Do you tell me? I forgot what you were going to ask. Um, yeah, research. Do I have any research penalties from Black Monday? No, we still have plus 14%. Okay, so that's still fine. And Chink Leaks Banana X. Okay, so you're doing pretty good. You have 150 relations to me. Military access on aggression pack, same ideology. And they love me. Guarantee, non aggression pact. Nobody can touch Angie and Cleek without getting me involved, which I think essentially would get all of the Reichs Pact involved. I might be wrong on that, though. I know we have, like, the... Maybe we don't have it. Usually there's, like, a negative 1,000 call allies into war modifier. Remember, we don't have it because we're a player. There we go. Build some artillery. I know our manpower is low, but again, there's nothing I can actually do to fix that at the moment. I'm assuming they said yes. I mean, they like us. You're arresting some students. That's fine. Arrest all the students you need to. But when will... I mean, could we send volunteers to them? We could, but I'm assuming we're probably going to want to keep our troops in Indochina for the moment. So I'm assuming it's just replacing... It's got the same uh, effect, the austerity budget, but this one's just tied for 365 days. Apparently, you could just fix a global recession in a, in a year, which is pretty convenient. Build some land forts in both these provinces. And then he can invest in them. Which will remove the instability, which I think will allow us to invest more into our army. Which is quite nice. Punish you now. We can't we can't punish them, unfortunately. But maybe maybe one day we will. One day we can punish them all we want. Also, what do we want to research? Let's go for concentrated industry. And I think for right now, it's going to be a good time to end this first episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Now, do I call you something down? You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.